We are officially caught up with all of the recordings I had done before I started streaming the Nuzlocke. So today is the first video that is going to be made up of live stream. If you want, you can still go back and see the previous live stream, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is going to be a much more heavily edited down to what's either interesting, entertaining, or necessary. Anyways, I guess I'll just get on with it. Today is a weird day. I just wasn't able to really get started. So I decided to show everyone something I've been working on. I'm doing a randomizer... Nuzlocke. Randomizer being the types, moves, and abilities, as well as what Pokemon appear where. This is my current team. Everyone else is dead. ASMR, the Loudred, is my starter. A very useful ability, Damp, prevents self-destructing combatants, meaning Pokemon that self-destruct won't nuke my team. And he has this really broken move, Water Spout. Why is it broken? Power 150. Turn 1. And accuracy 100. It goes down when my Pokemon takes damage, but it also has Brine, which deals more damage when I'm below half health. So, great start. I just finished the Valley Windworks. I'm kind of trying to rush to the EXP share because I kept trying to do some switch training and I, that has cost me a number of Pokemon. I have my normal type Magnemite called Ball. It has rough skin, which has actually been pretty helpful. It is a special attacker, as you can see, with no special attacking moves. That's been frustrating. Heal block is use well not useless, but hasn't been useful so far. Battery is the electric type Cherubi. Uh Water Veil prevents my mom from getting a burn. But you know what? I'll take it. That is still pretty nice. That's a very nice thing. Actually, Cherubi was a also a special attacker. With physical physical and one special move, which is only half the power, not the greatest. We have the poison type, Dragonite, Cobra, and as unaware. I know this can be a good ability. I'm not amazing at Pokemon, so I don't know if I'd be able to take full advantage of this. Physical attacker, with physical gunk shot, which is very good move, except it's shit accuracy. Physical move, Poison Fang, which is actually really nice. And Poison Jab, which is just a better Poison Fang. Higher power, same accuracy. The only difference is that Poison Fang can also flinch. Rogue is my Dark type War Turtle, and has Unburden. Thing is, I'm trying to make use of Switcheroo, which I found out works even if your Pokemon's not holding an item. But so far I haven't run into any wild Pokemon that have an item that I want to take yet. Or that I can take advantage of taking, because I think Cherubi. So I might go back and try and steal an item from them for money. Because money has actually been a problem for me so far, just because of the need to buy Pokeballs. Let's see... Good stats all around, I would say. Embargo will be useful for gyms, obviously. And finally we have Aloe, my normal type Gloom. Not the most exciting Pokemon, but I feel good about it. It has Overgrow, it does not have any grass moves, so that's useless. It's not grown enough to get much of, a, of an idea if it's going to be a special attacker or a physical attacker. And it has, it has Protect, which can be very useful. It has Block, which can be can be very useful, especially for catching things like Abra, 
Well, except the problem is that Abra is totally different in this, so that won't be the case. But if there is a Pokemon with a move like Teleport, this will help me keep it from getting away. If I can figure out that it's going to Teleport before it actually does, so... Kind of iffy as to whether or not I'll be able to make use of Block. Hyper Fang. Eh. And Nature Power, which I had pulled up a thing, a guy because of how weird that is. It basically is just a bunch of other different moves. All the other Pokemon I had caught so far are dead. And now you're all caught up. Alright, oh, I just noticed there are berries up here. I don't replant the berries because I don't feel like it. And I've been trying to be very good about making sure I always give my mon the berries they need. Let's just give an orange berry to... I should probably also go over what items they have right now. Um, and I'll just give one to battery, just in case. ASMR. I gave ASMR... Razor Claw, which boosts the critical hit ratio. And Ball, I gave the Wide Lens to improve accuracy, because Wide Lens has Hyper Fang, which is already 90% accuracy. I want to get that as close to 100 as I can, because it's basically my best move. And actually, I don't want to give Rogue an Orange Berry, because that's my item stealing one. I already caught a Pokemon from this water. And so I can't catch anything up here. I think I will just show you how powerful uh, ASMR is. I do have speed up because I don't like waiting. So water spout, just one shot. And in this case it was super effective, but it's also just been really strong without that. Right, I think that Pokemon is a fire type. I don't know for, no I do know for sure because I caught the Pokemon they lost into it earlier. That died, unfortunately. I don't know what Pokemon's gonna be in here, but I can't catch any of these Pokemon anyways, so it doesn't matter. Sure, I'll fight this guy too. Jurachi. Great. This is currently my second attempt. My first attempts got shut down pretty quick. See, not it's not very effective, but that high of a base power with Stab, which is the same type of attack bonus, is just so strong. It just is. If for those of you who don't know, Stab is times 1.5 attack power, so it, it's really strong. I do have some rules, so I'm not using healing items in battle. In fact, I'm the only item thing here that I'm allowed to use are the Pokeballs. I have it on the game mode where you can't switch out your Mon between Pokemon. So if I kill a Mon, normally you can switch out to another Pokemon. They tell you what Pokemon they're switching to, so you switch to that same Mon. But I don't have that because that's kind of dumb. Oh, Blue Flute. It's Melody Wiggins a single Pokemon from sleep. But that's a shit item. The one downside to ASMR's move that is Water Spout is that it doesn't have a lot of PP. So I am gonna be rushing to the Pokemon Center between basically every fight. I forget, does this is this a kid I can murder? No, it's not. Okay. Jiggly poof. I'm gonna murder you. One shot. So it's going to be a lot of this, because I got pretty lucky, but I'm... There are Pokemon... I've had multiple instances of Pokemon showing up with Wonder Guard, so I am very much not set yet. Quick Powder. I forget what Quick Powder does. Let's find out. For Ditto. Damn. It's a Pokemon-specific item. I also have the Pokemon that's specifically for Latios and Latios, which I don't have, so that's also a thing. That was the Soul do. Okay, great thing about this point is that that house has a bed I can sleep in to just restore all of my bond as though I were at a Pokemon Center. 
so I don't need to worry about going all the way back down before doing the next thing. Hello. And now I'm rested. Skull fossil. That's great. So my rule with the underground here is that I can only get one fossil from the underground, but all fossils I find above ground are fair game. So this is one free Pokemon for me. So I do have a few, like, specific rules that are not standard, such as that one. Wave incense, that's... Actually... Oh, damn. Oh, damn, wait. Oh my fucking god. I'm giving this ASMR, and then I'm gonna just tell you why. ASMR, same type attack bonus, wave incense, water spell. That's 150 times 1.5 is another 75 is 225, plus whatever the fuck the bonus is from wave incense. Jesus, that's... Two, base 225 plus wave incense. That's insane. Oh my god. Wait, what was that? Dry skin. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
ball. Oh, what the hell? Ah, I didn't think I was gonna be faster. Okay, well, I'm still in it, surprisingly. Damn, I lost most of my mod in that. Mod in that. Pachurisu. I cannot switch into ASMR, so I might actually have to just sacrifice Ball. This sucks. This sucks so much. It might still be the end, after all. That's super effective. I'm so fucked. Oh, at least I still have ASMR. ASMR is now my only Pokemon. So... This is a Nuzlocke, and that's just what happens in Nuzlocke's if you are unprepared. Wow, things can go from going so well to doing so badly in such a short amount of time. There he is. So this is Elysium, where dead Pokemon go. Goodbye, battery. Goodbye, ball. You were one of my favorites, even if you were just a normal type. Cobra, you were fun. I'm gonna miss you. Rogue, I have great plans for you. And Aloe, you were on my team. Let's hope I don't run into any other Wonder Guard Pokemon that are immune to that, that are resistant to water and poison until I get another move or Mon. Wow, this sucked. And let's do you for the XP's, I guess. And monies. Napoleon. Level 29. Do I learn Rain Dance? It can turn off things like... Like when I get to Candace, her Obama Snow's effect that makes it snowy. So that would be useful. I guess I get rid of Aqua Tail. Yeah. It's gonna be really hard to catch them on. This person is nice. They will keep my my uh, friend nice and healthy. Now let's go grab this item and hope it's something I can use. Earth plate. It is not. Well, at least not yet. Uh, it's gonna be so hard to catch a Pokemon here. Okay. Double Lapras. Okay, so I'm pro I'm gonna try and catch a Float Soul. That can be a problem. Another great thing about Water Spout is it hits both of the opponent's Pokemon, so that's a thing. I'm gonna Poison Sting my friend's Float Soul, because I don't want them killing both of the Lapras. And then I'm gonna start Poison Stinging, Poison Sting one of them. I should probably get rid of one of them before I deal with my friend's Lapras. Okay, there we go. Poison Sting Floatzel again? Okay, he's been poisoned. Don't. Okay, this is actually ideal. Yo, look at this. I can pro I can probably catch this. This is nice. Actually, I might not be able to. Lapras, I think, has a pretty... It might be pretty difficult to catch. But this is the best case scenario. Honestly. Like, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna speed through this. If my mind gets a little too low, I'm just gonna have to finish them off. Aha! I caught a ground grass Lapras. I like that. Yes, I will give a nickname to my caught Lapras. I am calling it Torterra. Because that's funny. And, actually, okay, let's check Torterra's stats and stuff. Ground Grass, okay. Technician powers up the Pokemon's weaker moves. That can be nice. It is a good mod, let's see. It's tech, special tech, basically the same. Earth Power, 90 power on move, okay. Ground out of foe, it may also lower the target's special defense. That's a nice one. Mudshot is always um, appreciated. Just uh, 
Oh no, that's the one that there was a speed. I thought it was the accuracy dropping one. Never mind. Vine Whip is a grass move. That's the nicest thing I can say about it. And Spikes is a good setup, although it's a, it's a kind of an offensive move. It is a good setup. Earth Power is probably going to be Torterra's main shtick. Let's see if I have an item to give Torterra. Ground type moves. Yeah, I have a perfect item to give Torterra. Okay. We are back on. Let's try and murder all the trainers here. I will say, I do try not to overlevel too much. But if I overlevel, I'm not going to just not use my Pokemon. Cherish Ball. Ah, I got a brand new Pokeball. And actually, I really like the Cherish Ball. Let me show you that. I said. It's just red. I actually don't know what the point of it is, but I like it. It's funny to me. Just a red ball. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try not to do all of the Pokemon fights, because I'd rather be able to go into the double battles with my own Pokemon, so that I can level up my weaker ones. Deep Sea Scale. Clamp Pearl specific item. Fah! Oh, also, Wild Pokemon carry random items. Sooth Bell, that'll be useful if it's actually Sooth Bell. Let me double check that. It is a Sooth Bell. Okay. Now if I catch a Zubat, that'll help me evolve it into a... or a... Crobat. No, Golbat. That'll help me get it into a Crobat. Let's go do some more double battles. So I can get Torterra up to speed. Mm -hmm. okay. Water Spout. And Earth Power? No. I don't have anything that'll hit all of them. So Alakazam is more likely to survive. Let's hit it with Earth Power, just in case. Oh my god, it's faster than both of my mon. Oh yeah, Alakazam's a super speedy mon. I like Alakazam. It is one of my personal favorites. It's a shame I did get to catch that, but that absolutely would have had a really high catch, or low catch rate. It would have been really hard to catch. And they both were murdered by the ASMR anyways. Macho Brace. Useless for me right now, but could be useful later. Really want to get all the items, because they can all come in handy. Ariados. Ah, I don't remember what type Petrisu was, but I think Petris gives given me some trouble. Okay, and they're murdered. Torterra. We're getting move. Okay, so Torterra's gonna learn Mega Kick? 175 accuracy, but base power of 120. Normal type. Well, I have both Earth Power and Mudshot. I'm not that attached to Mudshot. The speed drop can be useful, but 95 accuracy kind of... I'm not super attached to it. Of course, it has better accuracy than Mega Kick, but... Whatever. Ooh, Bastiodon. I like that mod. That one might survive, I think, because that actually has a really high... I think it has both high defense and special defense? Maybe not. I don't remember. It was irrelevant anyways. It lost. It died. It was murderized. And then, let's finish off Caterpie with... Brine. And I think that's all the double battles in Eternia Forest, so I don't think there's... Ah, I forgot. Fight... Uh, sure, Water Spout. Oh, fuck, Swallow's on with the dry skin. Uh, and it can't be poisoned. I have to switch it to Terra. Earth Power? Uh, and I just lost. I, I just lost. I cannot actually hurt this Pokemon with ASMR. Well... We're gonna sit here until I die. I could have ran. I should have ran. I just lost for no reason. Oh well, time to just restart the game. I'm actually really upset. I'm so mad. I had no reason to lose that. And I'm gonna miss ASMR. That'll be all for today's video. 
I just want to thank everyone who took the time out to watch today's video. This is the video I decided to put out on my birthday, and I just have so much appreciation for any, for any and every one who decides to watch my stuff. So if you liked the video, I mean, I'd appreciate a like. But subscribe if you want. You know, do all the YouTube things. And uh, I'll see you all next time.